What's going on everybody? Gem Mint here. Sideshow just revealed their new Superman Premium format. So we're going to take a look at the pictures and the video that they released. I'm kind of a sucker for Superman. It's one of the first comic book heroes that I remember as a kid. One of the first stories that I actually read, which was Death and Return of Superman. And we've only had a couple of quarter scale offerings in the past. We'll take a look at some of those for reference and then get into the new stuff. So the first thing they did was give us this tease. And right away, I got kind of excited because I'm like, is that a sculpted cape? It kind of could have looked like it was mixed media fabric, but uh, it also looked like it was sculpted. And those kind of uh, rumors were confirmed when we got the full reveal. But just from the tease, you can see the base is kind of these clouds that he's flying through. He's got a strong Superman pose. It looks like he's going to have fist up and fist down, which he does. Uh, and, and again, that nice sculpted cape. Now, the OG Superman premium format actually had a sculpted cape as well. I know when we think Sideshow, they typically do the fabric capes, but the OG had a sculpted cape, but a fabric costume. This is one of those pieces that I actually always wanted. I just never got around to pulling the trigger. Classy classic piece sold out it retailed 450 when it first came out their second uh premium format i did own and i thought it was just kind of okay it wasn't really exciting uh more on the modern side with the fabric cape and everything actually you can still get the collector's edition now which is kind of crazy the exclusive had that brainiac head but yeah this was their second offering kind of playing it safe i think a little bit but with this new piece, they're definitely not playing it safe. Let's take a look at some of the pictures here. So this was the first full reveal. You can kind of see this was the picture they cropped to tease us with. But uh, yeah, confirmed to be a sculpted cape. Beefy, muscular Superman, which I am a fan of. This is like 90s Superman here with the huge muscles. He's got like this thick torso and a thick neck as well. He's got kind of that older Superman look. Looking upward, so similar to the new Green Lantern premium format, really reminding me of their old school Thor premium format. But scrolling through some of the pictures here, yeah, man, I, I definitely love the cape. When I saw that it might have been a sculpted cape, immediately I thought of their Darth Vader mythos piece, which the cape was so well done. I like the movement in the clouds here, kind of the poof, as he's flying upward, cape moving wildly. Here's like a top-down angle. So, yeah, I guess you could display it low if you want to see the portrait. Or if you do it like mid-level, you're not going to really see the portrait. He's going to be shooting upwards, flying. You know, and I'm seeing a lot of mixed reviews from the community on the portrait, on the piece itself, that he's too muscular. They don't like the portrait. I'm a fan of it. It's a comic-based portrait, so the sculptors really have freedom to do whatever they want. It doesn't have to be a 100% likeness to a certain person. And then here is from the Sideshow Live video. Let's pull that up real quick and take a look at what this piece looks like in person. All right, so this is from the Sideshow Live on February 12th. They're talking about Beetlejuice here, and then they're going to get into the new Superman PF. Up in the sky, it's a new reveal. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a closer <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. We'll be right back. All right, so here we go. Yeah, man. <laughs> I might just be a sucker for Superman. All right, so you have a silver sub base, clouds on the base as well, 34 inches tall. These quarter scale pieces are not fitting in Bestas anymore. Dang. You see it next to her, man? It was huge. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, for sure. Because look how high he is off the base. Superman we've seen, but perhaps the tallest premium format. Oh, I dang. I think between him and our recent Green Lantern, there's definitely a yeah, see? DC fight for the uh, fight for the flight. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> <we'll like that. laughs> Not for sure. So this is our new Superman premium format figure. This was sculpted by the Kacharik brothers. Oh, okay, bros. Okay. They, they did the um, Vader, I think, too. By Bernie Esquivel. And as Guy mentioned, this is 34 inches tall from the bottom of the base to the top. Come on, man. About eight yeah, see, they had to do that. So recently, like, PCS is doing their basketball line, right? And they had the Michael Jordan, and he's dunking. But the problem is he's not coming up off the base that much, so it kind of looks weird. So if you would have had Superman much lower, 
it wouldn't have really looked like he was flying. So I like how high up they placed him, even though it has this big sculpted cape. All of the cape is taken into account and about 15 inches deep. So this one is really Dang. a showstopper, a centerpiece, and is going to huge piece a lot of space in your collection. So make sure you're prepared. <laughs> now, Amy mentioned the cape. This See? This cape is fully sculpted and fully painted. And I Which they don't always do anymore. Of the Kucherik brothers sculpture especially right um, and Bernie did such a fabulous job with the highlights and low lights of this piece um, but if you that's why I immediately thought of that Vader piece with the K bros that cape look how much detail is put into that you can't recreate that in a fabric cape you have to be a professional uh <laughs> cape handler what do you want to call it uh cape poser but yeah sculpt the cape for the win Brothers or not, they've done a number of our uh, Star Wars mythos. Oh, see, there you go. Yeah. Namely, that Asaz Ventress who has the beautiful red costume and all of the kind of flowing. But see, all of those are one fifth scale. Sideshow doesn't really do quarter scale sculpted capes. It's funny that the OG Superman was, but they don't really do that anymore. So uh, I, I would like argue is this the first quarter scale sculpted cape they've done since back in the old days? I'm trying to think of another one off the top of my head. I think that that part of the storytelling, the fabric, uh, really, you know, adds a lot of dimension and character to it, especially with a character like Superman, whose own... She said fabric, but I think I think she meant sculpted. It's part of the character, and it is as much a character as the Man of Steel himself. Absolutely, and when you talk about what they're doing in paint to create... Yeah, a light Superman and his cape go hand in hand. And um, all the intricacies, it looks beautiful, looks absolutely natural, but of course, the thought and the effort that went into that, and that's also done in the muscles all throughout the leg, and there is, of course, you see in the, uh, my God, the guy's got like a nine pack. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't really look as, like, overly muscular in person with, you know, next to people. In the pictures, he kind of looked a little bit too much like Brock Lesnar or something like that, but uh, yeah, he does kind of have like an eight pack, right? He doesn't look overly muscular next to them. But even if he does, I mean, in many look in '90s Superman comics, he dresses up like Clark Kent, puts the glasses on, and, and nuns to the wiser. Uh, well, but they grow different in small it, 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 Exactly. Big yeah. Superman emblem. I don't know if I like how you have this right here. I don't know why there's like that shadow there. Like the emblem is really on top of his chest and not so much part of the costume. Superman S there on the chest. Now, and that upward look of the face. I wonder if you could switch it out, maybe. Images of the portrait, so you guys can see that it's a little difficult in the studio, right? Uh, to have a different angle, but if you guys, but see, that's something to consider when posing. Like, if you have this chest height or you know, torso height, you're never really going to see the portrait, which I'm not really against. You know, Superman is in a flying pose, you're used to seeing him flying, so I wouldn't mind having him like chest or bust height, not really, not really seeing the portrait like that. And the in the previous PF, you could see the portrait, and it's not really doing much for it, to be yeah, honest. All right, so the, here's where those pictures came from. In a way, this piece is flying in your collection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I don't. People are disliking the portrait, and hey, I mean, to each their own with your opinion. I don't see anything wrong with it, and actually, the neck doesn't look again as overly exaggerated as it did in some of those other angles. Like if you look at this uh, angle of him, he doesn't look enormous as far as his build. His triceps are huge. <laughs> in that and then of course uh, oh, boom. Scene here this incredible base and kind of that yeah. lift off you're getting that power and that energy of course not just in the raised fist but coming all the way from there and that paint scheme that Bernie did uh, with the cape kind of continues down into that kind of well we'll say cloud formation yeah and I like the cloud check oh check out the uh, the paint on the clouds too right so you have like this blue that goes into a grayish white and it almost looks like there's some translucency here. That's kind of the only piece of the cloud I didn't like. I didn't really like these kind of spiky looking pieces. I kind of could have done with that without those. From there and that paint scheme that Bernie did. Yo, but look, classic costume. You got the yellow belt, trunks on the outside, no texturing in the suit. This is classic comic book Superman. And I think that's what I love so much about it. Everything is true to the comics. The only thing that feels a little out of place to me is the S on the chest. And again, I wonder if there's going to be a switch out for that or for the portrait for that matter. Cape kind of continues down into that kind of, well, we'll 
it's a cloud formation. Yes, and they're semi-translucent elements as well, so there's a nice light pass-through of these pieces. You can get a little bit of, uh, you know, theatrical lighting, so you can see the, the wisps of cloud trail. And then you've got mm -hmm. that almost kind of Krypton uh, themed like launch pad. It, it feels like it belongs in the Fortress of Solitude, or it could, uh, you know, just be a very scientific piece of uh, platforming there. Yeah, uh, so it's a Kryptonian there. kind of inspired yeah, sub base. In nicely with the cloud formation that you mentioned. And one of the things. Yeah, check out even like the fine details on the boot, the little folds, the crease down the middle. That I love looking at this piece is it's almost a before and after unintentionally, but you know, Sideshow's always pushing storytelling with our own releases. But if you've already got that call to action sequence mm. where you know he's he's That's just true. about to take off, you've got a very cool dynamic forward motion. You can make a little dial. And then you can bring this one home and have the upward flight. So we've had our horizontal piece, because that's a long way, but we're, we're pushing the envelopes here. We are, and I hope uh, Super Moderator Jesse in the chat also agrees with us that we've got some really cool Superman storytelling options here. And if you want to bring this piece home, he is up for uh, RSVP, so he's not up for pre-order just yet. But you want to go to side.show forward slash super PF. And again, you can be notified when this goes up for pre-order. You'll get your... Uh, your news bulletin from Clark Kent himself, uh, and you can choose the email notification or the SMS, whichever method you prefer for us. To get yeah, so not up for pre-order yet. This is just the RSVP page, and it just shows us this one image that we've seen, so you can sign up for that. We don't know the edition size yet. We don't know the price. I'm going to assume it's like $750. The edition size, it depends if they want to sell out or not. They might do $1,500 for the ES. They might do $2,500. Uh, I'm definitely going to pick this one up. I do not own any quarter scale Superman pieces, and I do think this is the best one that's out so far. I know that Prime One is doing a quarter scale version of their Hush, which the one third scale version with the sculpted cape to me is still the best Superman statue out there. But for quarter scale, I love this new take, a new sculpt. I don't know that the quarter scale version of the Hush statue is going to be as coveted, being that we've seen it before. Many people own the one third scale. All I want to know is, are they going to do a Batman to go with this? Because just like with Superman, I don't feel like we've really gotten the definitive quarter scale Batman. I think the closest one is the most recent premium format that they did that had the Kelly Jones inspired long draping cape, which funny enough, not many really liked that piece. I wasn't really a big fan of the Martin Canali version, even though I'm a big fan of his work. So I would love to see a Batman quarter scale piece in this vein. But, uh, man, let me know what you guys think about the new Superman premium format by Sideshow from what I've seen in, on Facebook and in all the groups. Uh, the community is pretty torn. It's like a love-hate kind of thing here. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and stay minty fresh. Real quick, I want to thank that SpidermanBooth.com for sponsoring the video. They've been rocking with us for years, so make sure to show them some love. For February, you get the same five comics, $100 of retail value for just $50. There are other perks involved as well as you can see. They do monthly YouTube giveaway shows. They have a members-only store. They have exclusive variants that you can only get in this box. So besides the five comics, which are variants, exclusives, things of that nature... But for this month, you're going to get a crash down number one. That's right. My boy Comic Tom and Fire Guy Ryan's first ever published comic, along with Ben Temple Smith. This cover right here, they made 100 of the regulars. They made 100 of the virgins, 100 of the foils, and 10 of the medals. So every single box is going to get the regular cover. And you're also going to get either a virgin, foil, or medal. So only 10 lucky people will get the medal. And virgins and foils at random so actually you're going to get seven books in this month's subscription box big thanks to that spider-man booth.com shout out comic tom fire guy ryan great read check out crash down number one